Knock on the door and let's see who answers. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Wait there while I get the money. And don't you touch anything. Oh, Monty told us not to give it to the mother. But she'll pay us if we just wait here. But then, if we give it to Belinda upstairs, maybe they can run away together. I know I left it here somewhere. That must be Belinda. I don't know. You put these things somewhere so no one can... Well, this is wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty, my little dove. I guess some people's wishes do come true. We did it. We can buy the music box now. Come on, let's go buy that music box. I can't wait to see what it can do. Melinda, what are you Watch doing? Watch out for her, Mum. Get She's back a in bit the scary. House. I'm leaving, Mother. I'm going to marry the man I love. What? Oh, Monty, I love you. No, you don't! He's poor! Oh, Mother, you're such a shrew. That's why Father left you, and you can't get another man. Belinda, you shouldn't talk to your mum like that. Oh, now you're taking her side. What? No! Well, maybe you should marry her instead. But you're my one true love. Without you, there are no stars and no moon in my night sky. Only the cold, crushing dark of your absence, um, my little dove. Hello, children. Hello. We've come to buy the music box. Very wise little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. I wish, I wish. But where did it go? Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. To settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little Sparrow, wake up! It's all right, Doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you, I promise. Let's go to 
to the castle. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young masters. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Ah, hello, Master Garth. Ha, a man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? And history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Children! It's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh... <laughs> Well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle, like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. What's that? Nothing to worry about. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? What are you? Wait. My lord, something what happened? Here. What's that like? Quiet! You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. What's happening? This isn't what I wanted. But nothing must stand in my way. No, wait! Don't! No! I can't allow you to live either. I'm sorry. Your destiny. 
Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. So, did you get any patterns? Following the custom of her people, on the day of the wedding, they danced before the revelers on the You have a lot to learn. You've got rhythm. Oh, good. Maybe even great. Nice. Good. Even. Lovely. Such a darling. Oh, this is so romantic that I, I think I'm going to faint. <laughs> well, not really, but it is nice. We have the finest products in Albion. No choice but to climb its treacherous peaks. Halfway up, he spotted a trail of speed. 
that day is seldom spoken of. And I'm not going to tell you what do you say. Come on, people. You know you want to spare. Now come with me. Open the gate. Good luck. Take this. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now, look down towards the lake. The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the Chamber of Fate. When you come out again, you will be stronger, much stronger. Now go. Don't be alarmed. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill.
You'll have to shoot the switch to go any further.
Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Beyond these broken doors lies the Hero's Guild. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. No man alive today remembers the night the Guild burned, and now it lies forgotten. But the heroes are not all gone. You are here, and that same heroic blood flows through you. Look around at these walls. Your forebear, one of the mightiest heroes who ever lived. At a young age, he suffered a devastating loss, from which he never truly recovered. But when the world tried to crush him, he fought back. He grew strong, strong enough to reshape the world as he saw fit. You must do the same. The guild has reacted to you. Step into the light. Learn the true power of heroes. Your blood is awakening. You can now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Before you is a colors gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use will yet, 
but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the colors gate. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill and will. Brutal styles unlock special moves for use in close combat. The stronger your physique, the more damage you will cause with close combat weapons. A tougher hero is able to withstand more damage before falling in battle. The stronger your physique, the more damage you will cause with close combat weapons. Dextrous styles unlock special moves for ranged weapons and other abilities crucial to a skilled fighter. Shock stuns your enemies and blasts them with lightning. Inferno calls forth magical flames to scorch and burn your foes. Blades creates magical swords to impale your enemies. Chaos confuses your foes, making them unpredictable. They may raise dead causes the bones of the recently deceased to rise and fight for you. Excellent. Can you feel the power coursing through you? It is only the beginning. Use your will ability to hit the flit switch and power up the gate. Once activated, it will allow you to travel back to Bower Lake. Demonstrate your will. Destroy the flip switch. Use your newfound abilities to defeat them. Those blue orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Make your way to Bowerstone. I will meet you there.
Apologies, citizen. The road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit activity. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit thag is alive, the road stays closed. If you're in an hurry like, you can always take care of thag yourself. So, the road to Bowerstone is closed. It would seem Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger to all and must be dealt with. With your new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. Keep your wits about you. It may be a trap. Look out! It's an ambush! I don't know who you are, and I don't give a bag of f- Watch out! of Thag's death. With a threat removed, the road to Bowerstone can reopen. Thag keeps the key to the cage in his hut. It's in a chest. Oi, mate! Don't even think about letting them out. Those slaves belong to me. I paid for them. Look, I don't want any trouble. Give the key to me and I'll make it worth your while. No, don't listen to him! Shut up! You wouldn't do that to us, would you, Sparrow? I said shut it! I'm not going to tell you again. Thank you so much! I can't believe you did that! We're free! 
Free to wander the paths and byways of the land. No master but the wind itself. Time stretched out before us like... I'd like... What's the word I want, Reg? I don't know. And it's Regina. Right, I'm going now. Uh, thanks again. Ah, uh, yes, thanks. You just turned down hard cash. They will never forget your kindness. You're a nutter, you know that. A nutter. I've been on the fence about you. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me in Bowerstone Market by the clock tower. There is something you must see.